everybody, welcome back to Let's Go Geo. As usual, I'm your field guide, Heather. In a recent video, I talked about the details of how you can identify the different types of sedimentary rocks. Today, we'll just review some samples and take a look at them in the field. Now let's take a look at these sedimentary rocks I have here. Here's a rock that has rounded grains of very different sizes. That is a conglomerate. Here, we have this orangish colored rock. Take a look at that. That has some fairly fine grains in it. They're all about the same size, similar composition. That is a sandstone. In this rock, we have some marine fossils, and we also have some even finer sediments there. That is a siltstone. And over here, we have the dullestone and limestone collection. Now, we can take a look at some of these and there you can see this rounded rock has some fossils in it. These are marine fossils. Here's another fossil. And here we have a banded chert. Here we have an evaporite mineral and that's the gypsum. And here we have agate. And over here I have a bag of volcanic ash. Now volcanic ash is also a very important component of many sedimentary rocks. In fact, when the volcanic hot spot of Yellowstone went off, it spewed ash all over the western, even into the Midwest portions of the United States. Now let's take a look at these examples in the field and see if you can recognize the main types of sedimentary rocks. Mm -hmm. 